you know, this is therapy for a lot of people out there who, and they get to explain the roots of where their life went wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Whether it be their parents was on drugs or they was in the streets raising themselves as kids. Like, you didn't win unless you just made a transition from that into something positive. Because so if you want to talk about you won and you still in the streets, you a loser. You ain't win unless you took that and you took all that pain and strife and that and, 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 and all the trials and tribulations you've been through. You took that and you turned it into something positive, then you won. That's the victory right there. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was telling my. This call was from a federal prison. Anytime I think we compatible Damn, I'm mad at you After you done look like a princess How I'm gonna show another girl interest Impressed, you move so lady Take a ride with this New York baby Yeah, LAZ, man, I make hit songs Been making hit songs, man You heard you wanna collab with me Send me an email at the thegenpopllc At gmail.com Or send me a DM on Instagram at Real St. Laz, you heard? Moving out here, man. That's a whole fact. Z Lord. And if you need that music promo, brand promo, whatever it is you pushing, man, my price is right like Bob Barker. Get at me. When he stole on me, son, he knew I had the hammer on me. Everybody knew I had the hammer on The hammer flew out. Shh. Just scraping across the ground, right? Now, what had happened, right, is that um, promenade, right, which is basically um, where you can look over into Manhattan, right? And um, if you go there like around 4th of July or something around nature, they, you can see a spectacular flyer show there. So a lot of people always drift towards there during them times in the summer, right? So, um... We was out there, but it be mad police out there. These flat foots, plain clothes, you know, um, uniform is like, it's really nothing you could do. However, so something had occurred, right? And there was this dude from Farragut, his name was Mel, right? And um, there was a, something was happening between him and one of the brothers, I'm not quite sure. However, um, I went to intervene, right? And then he just swung, so he stole on me, like hit me in my neck, right? When he hit me in my, I was on a bike, I was on a pedal bike, right? So when he hit me on my neck, when he snuffed me, I fell off the pedal bike, the hammer fell, right? Excuse me, it didn't fall. It just got dislodged from how where I had it tucked at. So I had the you know, refocus it. It was just a nasty situation because at any given time I could be getting looked at by the these. Any altercation is going to bring. So me just happened to fix that was just nasty work. So I dip. I had to dip. So I guess on the bike I break out, right? Kind of scat off. So now thereafter, right? You know, everybody knew what happened at that situation. So it was a matter of, ah, right, yo, um, we catch up with old boy and them, you know what I'm saying? You already know. And it was a matter of like, yo, fuck that, yo, um, let's go over there. So, um, sometimes everybody be in their own zone, you know what I'm saying? So, everybody wasn't like, like chill, say like, it's chill, so it's a good, nice day. Like, niggas want to chill and smoke, so niggas don't want to all that. So I'm like, all right, well. So Squeak like, right, I'm coming over there with you, cuz. So he jumps on the pedal bike. I jumps on the pedal bike. So he like, yo, I'm going to see um some action I got over there, right? So I'm telling him, all right, cool. Now your action is cool with my action. So don't kind of drag it into you with your action and I'm over there and then they trying to nah son cause I'm going over there to look for old boy you heard so he was like alright cuz just I said look so we get in front of the spot his action is out there so I'm like alright I'm about to dip through these peas and see if I see old boy in them right he said alright I'm gonna be right here when you come back 
So I rise through the peas now. As I'm now, keep in mind, the first thing you need to know, I'm on the run, right? So now the D's over there, they know, right? So I'm riding now. I'm riding through the peas. So it's it's the highway that goes straight into the you know to get to the Brooklyn Bridge. You know what I'm saying? But it's a barrier. You can't if you're going that way. You can't just bust a U-turn and come back on the other side. It's a barrier. You can't. I'm gonna call you in the car. You can't just cross over like that. So as I'm pedaling towards that area, like on some real movie shit, like everything just got slow. Batman and Robin. He was in the Bonneville, a maroon one, right? And as I'm pedaling fast towards that way, they look, and I'm looking at them, and I'm like, oh, shit, right? So boom, before they could even get on point, right? I turned the bike around, boom. So now when I'm dipping, now this route I'm about to take is only to catch, go back and let let that squeak know, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Batman and Robin just saw me, son. It's abandoned mission. We out, right? So when I take, because I had a faster scenic route, I could have got through, went through City Park, you know what I'm saying? Cut through, went up the park, Ave, got the outside before they could even gather the troops, you know what I mean? So... I goes the, the way, the, 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 the longer way, but when I go the longer way, Squeak ain't over there. Squeak ain't nowhere to be found. So I'm like, oh shit. So now I can't stop. I, I gotta keep my pedal on, right? I gotta get through City Park. If I get the City Park, I'm good. So as I'm pedaling, I'm looking, I don't see the nigga. So I dips, boom, I make it through City Park. All right, boom, I shoots through, I get. So now I make it to my side, right? Get to my side, it's like, I'm putting the bike up the stairs. So now, um, I just got from up under the L, right? So I'm riding up, I'm going up. So as I pass Sad 9, I see the brothers is, is, is right in front of 102, right? So I see Squeak. So boom, I jumps off the bike. I'm like, yo, what the fuck was that about, cuz? Like, you just broke out on me. You ain't fucking let me know nothing. I told you what I was going to do. So now at the moment, right, I wasn't thinking like this. But in hindsight, you know, um, when I said something pertaining to you chasing a bitch or something like that, you know, um, see, that right there is like, me basically giving off the impression that you broke out on me for a bitch. That's what it was sounding like. I found this out later on when I came over there screaming. That's what, you know what I'm saying? Brothers basically was like, yo, that's what, what the fuck? So, upon that, he just stole on me. Boom! So when he hit me, son, Yo, he knocked physically flames out of me. You know what I'm saying? My stumble, but I was resilient. You know what I'm saying? My 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 pickup game, my my, my leg game was kind of good. Now. So hold on, but before he stole off on you, was y'all was he arguing back with you? Yeah, he was arguing back. He was highly upset. He highly upset, and I felt even more offended because I'm like, motherfucker, you don't know what the fuck I just went through. Fuck you, you got the audacity to be upset because I'm telling you what the fuck you done did. So, in the midst of that, yeah, he was arguing back, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't even a matter of he was close or not for the steal because the bike was between us, you know what I'm saying? Because I told you I jumped off it and threw it down. So, I don't know, son, he got up on me fast and you don't get up on me fast like that. But you know, cuz knuckle game always been superb, you know what I'm saying? You know, to the point as to where Niggas wasn't one, one, one that had to have no hands with, 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 with Squeak, you know? So when he stole on me, son, he knew I had the hammer on me. Everybody knew I had the hammer on The hammer flew out. Shh. Just scraping across the ground, right? So as I regained my balance, it's like 
I see the hammer. So it's like everything got quiet, bro. And all you heard was, it was like a bunch, it was like a bunch, all the old ladies was out there. And they was like, <sighs> son, I went and got the hammer. So when I got the hammer, son, I picked it up, right? So I walked straight over the mellow, right? It's big bro. So more so I was like, yo, mellow, you see what happened, son? Take this and I hold this, cause I have to fuck him up, right? So Mello was like, oh man, come on, all right, man, yeah, man. So before I do that, right? Now he's already ready. He's in the stands, you know what I'm saying? Everybody like, damn, yo. Niggas gotta get it on, niggas getting it on. All right, so he's mad. He's really mad though, I'm seeing it, you know what I'm saying? So he hit me with a two-piece, doom, doom. Shit was like Razor Ramon, pretty old almost. You know what I'm saying? The nigga hitting through my fucking, my, my defense. But at the same time, the only thing I got is my speed. You know what I mean? So I'm shooting jabs. I'm shooting jabs, but I got to keep it moving. I got to keep it moving. Then I got to grab him. Because he hit hard. You know what I'm saying? So I can't get hit. All right, so we getting it on. And it seems like somewhere another, it's like we in a fucking uh, arena where we surrounded. Like, damn, they the whole piece was out there, son. But it didn't even matter because I had to prevent myself from getting knocked the fuck out, right? But at the same time, I'm like, nah, this nigga ain't going to be wrong and strong. Fuck that. So... I'm snapping the jab on him, son. That's all I really got. I'm snapping the jab on him. You know what I'm saying? It's working. It's backing him up. He's losing breath. You know what I'm saying? So I snap the jab on him, and then I go and grab him, you know, for a little minute, get some fresh shit. So the brother's like, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, 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 break up, break up, break up. So we get back at it. All right. So now we fighting. We started in front of 102. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, we start in front of 102. So now we fighting. We fighting up, up, up Sucker's Alley, up Sucker Path, you heard? We fighting up, so we making it up there. So now, all right, we stop fighting, right? Everybody said, nah, chill, y'all niggas. Oh, y'all niggas, y'all niggas got it in, nah. So now we walking up that way, not up Spotlight, but up um, Sucker Path, right? So now we walking up, so now as we coming up, Niggas is on the woods. Who on the woods? Corleone on the woods, Mel Kwan, the nigga John, motherfucking, um, the nigga Ty. Who else on the woods? It was a few of the brothers, but when he seen the brothers, he got ganked again, stole on me again. <laughs> right? So when he stole on me this time, I kind of, I kind of, he really kind of rocked me because I really wasn't expecting that one, right? So when he when he snuffed me, he like, yeah, cause we we gotta get it on. So I said, okay. So now we right there by the woods getting it on. So now everybody that was up top, now they basically coming down and seeing them. Now everybody from down bottom that came up. So now everybody from up top. Is is and then everybody from Carton is coming, so we getting it on again, right? Again, all I got is my jab, right? I'm I'm I'm, I'm losing octane, bro. You know what I'm saying? This nigga like a little Mike Tyson. As a matter of fact, that's what he was. He was little Mike. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. That's what the nigga remind you of. Imagine the nigga, little stocky nigga. You know what I'm saying? Throwing haymakers and knowing how to fight. That's all the nigga did. You know what I mean? So I'm just snapping my jab, man. So I snapped my jab, and then I grabbed him, held him on the fence, right? And um, so brothers was like, yo, that's it. I said, nah, I ain't the fuck. I ain't gonna say that's it. I said, this nigga gonna have to say that's it. So he like, yeah, that's it, son. You got your shit off. 
So he like, come on, cuz. Let's go get some heinies. Let's go get some smoke. Smoke out. So now, they, so now, now, they still not giving me the hammer back, you know. They're like, yeah, y'all niggas go walk it off. Go, y'all niggas go do something, right? Yo, we got to analyze what the fuck just happened and who did what. And who gets that, who, 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 who gets that one? Man, this nigga broke out, so, motherfucking, um, I went and tried not to go buy a hat because I had like three doohickeys. You know what I'm saying? And the little moonshine, the baby moonshine. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even think he had nothing on his face or nothing like that. I don't know. He got, I think, he'll tell you. You you ain't to ask him? You ain't to tell you about the fight? Of course. I mean, he ain't going to no details. Oh, well, yeah, man. Um, I don't know. So at the end of the day, I know I had some doohickeys. I don't remember him having nothing, but I know he sat and smoked and drunk some Heinekens. And um, went to the store, I seen my shit, so I said, oh, now nah, I'm buying this hat. So I brought the hat, and I put the hat on, so when he came out the store, he was like, nah, cuz, you gotta rock your shit. You gotta rock your shit like, like, like I'm rocking my shit. So maybe he did, but I don't remember, he still looked resilient to me. But at the end of the day, you know, um, you'll get different versions and you'll get different um, um, outlooks if you was to go and, 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 and bump into brothers and ask them about that. They'll tell you about it. Everybody remember it. I keep getting talked about it to this day. But um, because Knuckle Game was impressive and me, myself, I really never lost one, you know, because... um. My hand skills was like really real, like Pernell. You said you said that nigga sweet pounded out a grown ass man when he was mad young. Yeah, see, this is this is when niggas knew it was serious with cuz with cuz beaters. It was a nigga. It was like a bully nigga, like on the island, and Squeak used to be on the island. That's where he was really from on the island. Then he was like on the came on our side, but it was all people anyway, it's all family. But what you mean? You talking about Rikers Island? No, I'm to the island. It's an island on one of the sides is called the island. It's the far, the island, the middle, the other. You with me? Yeah. So he on the island and it was like a a, a bully dude over there, right? And um Somewhere, some, and then, cuz, he gotta tell you about that one. But the dude kinda like tried to, I don't, I think they did a robbery together. He tried to high side, he tried to high side squeak or some of that nature. Maybe I'm wrong, but they got into a discrepancy and he thought like, like, squeak, why are you even, even talking? You know what I mean? And cuz went ham on him, like, what? And throw your shit up. Loom, loom, lean, loud, mean. Just like lumped them like so savagely that motherfuckers was looking in amazement, my nigga. I said, God damn. You know? And um <laughs> ever since then, um, he, he put a straightener on motherfuckers pertaining to that. So motherfuckers really ain't want that with his hand skills. Even then, y'all, uh, you know. So, yeah, man. Um, I tell you, I tell you that he he give you he tell you now nah, he probably can tell you better than I could though, cause he probably can tell you better than I can last because um. But yo, you said how how long you said y'all niggas was fighting for? Like how many minutes? Oh nah, son. This wasn't like no no quick no quick dance on it dance like Fred Astaire, my God. This shit was, this shit was like a, 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 a non-choreographed motherfucking, only thing we didn't do was bite. You know what <laughs> I mean? Or the mother, son, because um, this shit started from the point of, actually, to be honest with you, ever since when the hammer came out and it slid on the ground, I really, 
remember, I'm on a run. So really, I felt like the heat was going to come because some old ladies were going to call. And they knew something was about to go down. And it just started. And it was going to escalate. So I figured they was going to call the heat. But none of, so that was on my mind more than anything, you know what I'm saying, during the whole shit. But the shit lasted so long, son, that not only, I told you, we started from in front of 102, bro, going up the, the, the path. So basically, you came over there, basically you came over there accusing son of leaving you for dead over abroad. Son got mad tight at that and stole off. Well, look, it's not so much he got tight at that. He got tight at the fact that I'm saying that in front of the brothers. See, it's a different ego thing there going on, right? Because now, if I would have said that to him, if I would have caught up with him before he got back to the peas, right? And would have said that, it would have been like, it, it, I, I, I honestly feel it wouldn't have been, like, it would have been like, nah, cuz, this shit was I seen the police, or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? But, when I came ranting and raving, it was like he was caught off guard. Like, it was like he turned around and I was just like there like, ah, ah, nigga, you accusing him of blasphemy. This is what was said later on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he said, it was more so like, you know, um, how dare me paint a picture like that in front of the, the, the brothers, you know what I mean? Of him and his um piracy, you know? So... You know, when I said that, um, I told you that still was so fast and I ain't have time to put on my Mayweather. You know what I mean? I ain't have time to put my defenses up. You know what I mean? So my head went one way after he rocked me. The hammer went another way. <laughs> and you know, it, it slid so far that little sparks was coming up from the metal scraping the concrete. What, what type of hammer was it? I had the joke, I think. It was the pound. Or maybe an eight long. Long, long. But it was definitely a revolver. Wooden handle. So when the, when the hammer fell, some people thought you was going to pull that shit, get that shit and start blaming? Listen, bro, I told you. The only thing I, after the, the, the little buzz that was in my head from getting rocked went away, it's like a zzzm. You know, my shit regathered. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anything being real. The only thing I heard after that, bro, because after that, I, I, I made sure I didn't fall. So I wasn't worried about him rushing me or nothing like that. But right after that, I regrouped. I went straight for the hammer. You know, I seen where the hammer went. I, after the buzz was going on, I, when I got the hammer, all I heard, I told you, in, in my mind, all I heard was, <gasps> like, it seemed like the whole fucking outside just gasped, like, Oh no! And you know I'm walking. I already knew it. I, I'm walking straight to Mellow. Yo, Mellow, look here. Take this. Hold this. You seen what happened? Just let, get this away from me and let me get to this matter. You know what I'm saying? And I believe, I, matter of fact, I think he passed the hammer off too because I think he had a hammer on. Him. Yeah, I believe so. Cause we went over there hammered up. So we start getting it on. So y'all both y'all both for the record, y'all both passed the hammers off to get it on with the hands. No. He passed his hammer off. He knocked when he rocked me, right? When he ring round me, right? My hammer got dislodged, you know what I'm saying? From the good tuck position it was in, right? After it got dislodged, when I went to go get it, at that time, I told y'all, I wasn't worried about him trying to rush me and stomp me out or nothing like that. He knew he had to get on defense, but I, I wasn't, but at that time, I wasn't looking at him. So that's when he must have passed this hammer off. Because by the time I got mine, and he wasn't worried about me, about to blame him, you know? Um, it was just a spontaneous, remember, I always tell you, decision making you know um some things be natural and some things be you have to thought of you know what i mean 
So uh, his natural response was to snuff me, whether I got a hammer or not. Um, I go get the hammer that fell, you know what I'm saying, for protection purposes. You know what I'm saying? Little kids all out there. He passed his off. I go get mine and mellow. All they saying is like, all right, man, yo, man, they get a hammer to somebody else going to building or something. I don't know. But we starting getting it on. He starts right there in front of 102, bro. I would have to think we stayed right there. We was rumbling, right? You know, in a cartoon when they in a little ball and they. <laughs> Yo, I said that. I said that shit in the story before. The Heathcliff, the Heathcliff cloud. The Heathcliff cloud. <laughs> yeah, straight up, and that's how that shit was, and that's how that shit was going, and um, all you heard. As we was getting it on, it was, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. And I, I honestly felt like I was getting rocked so much that, you know what I'm saying, um, I didn't realize what the fuck I was doing to him because he wasn't, he wasn't slowing up, you know? But um, I, I didn't, he never went down and I never went down. So I guess... You know. So you said that shit started moving around. Y'all was niggas was following y'all around the projects with the fight. Yeah, because um, motherfucking, I had an impeccable weave game at these times. You know, <laughs> um, and I believe, nah, we was really dancing, bro. We was dancing. He was doing some shit. He was doing some Browns. He brought up out some Brownsville shit, some shit from off y'all end, son. He really did, and um, I, I tell I, I tell you I can't remember. I don't know. Maybe he did a fifty-two. Maybe I did a fifty-two. But I know, motherfuckers was really entertaining. It wasn't entertaining for me. It was a matter of keeping this motherfucker up off me, you know. And all I had was the jab, man. All I had was the jab. <laughs> So that shit ended up going where? From 102 to where? From 102, up sucker path behind 102 to in front of 117, right? To the barrels. See, they still have these barrels right there, two barrels right there. And you, 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 when you're going up to the Ave, you got to pass the barrels before you get to the woods, you know? The wood blocks, you know, they ain't there no more. But you know, motherfucker, know where I'm at with it. So, um, and that's that's right there, bro. And like I said, from down low, we stood down there about damn, I, I, maybe maybe ten minutes, bro. And I think I'm being real fair with that because I don't remember everything but I remember I didn't like the fact that he was putting on a spectacle and how many motherfuckers was out there watching the fight yo bro listen I told you damn near I felt it, at, at hindsight I felt like like what was the movie what's these Gladiator, you in the arena, you you back in medieval times, Byzantine times, where you in the arena and everybody's right, yellow. You know? Because I remember just being surrounded. I remember, but it wasn't like surrounded as to where, nah, we had space. And niggas, space. niggas was just keeping it neutral, like niggas wasn't trying to root for you or root for Squeak. Niggas was just keeping it neutral, watching nah, the fight. You, you ain't, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't. You, yeah, it was. It wasn't one of them. It was a situation as to where. Well, I, I well, this is what the brothers told me. You know what I'm saying? Afterwards, was like, yo, that shit was some real, real, real shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't resulted. Y'all handled that shit like men. You know, and um, y'all basically showed everybody that. You know what I'm saying? Everything don't have to be. You know what I'm saying to the to the extremes all the time, even though we ready to go to extremes. 
and we used to usually go to extremes. But I wasn't looking at that shit right then and there. I was looking at that. This motherfucker done left me. This nigga got the audacity to be mad, and he gonna steal on me, knowing I got the ham on me. Like, what the fuck? He, does he must be really think? After all of that fighting and all of that shit, now I mean, like, Squeak actually named his son after you. That's crazy. Yeah, he named this. He named this little man after me, man. And um, that was an honorable thing. But you know, um, we wasn't doing honorable shit during the course of, you know what I'm saying, the come up. So that kind of was like a real, a real, a real moment that, you know, you set back and you set this shit in perspective, you know? So you never really know how a motherfucker you with all, all the time really, really look at you until trials and tribulations come up. That right there is like a real, you know, one of the most moments I had to stop and pause myself like, damn, you know? Shit is a bigger purpose now. It's new shit that we gotta tackle nowadays, you know?